to Christchurch, which returned its Mayor Leanne Dalzell for a second term, but also voted in five new councillors. A review of its ward system saw the number of councillors increase from 13 to 16 overall. Our Christchurch local government reporter, Conan Young, takes a look at some of the new kids on the Christchurch block. Well, there are a number of fresh faces around the council table. One of them, Aaron Kewen, has already been named the comeback kid. He was voted out three years ago on the back of widespread dissatisfaction with former council chief executive Tony Marriott, a person he publicly supported. He's confident the divisions that characterise the council he was previously a part of will not be a factor this time around. The A-team, B-team thing was something that was put out by a small number of people that saw themselves as, as, as a B-team, like an opposition, which in council you should never have an opposition. This council, after coming together yesterday, seemed to all get along. We all seem to be on the same page. So, of course, we won't all agree on every single thing. Aaron Kewen says it's been frustrating sitting on the sidelines over the past three years, especially watching the council settle its earthquake insurance for less than it should have. The university went all the way, they got their full amount. I sit on the health board, we got our full amount. Uh, the council should have got their full amount. Uh, compared to what we needed to get, I found it odd that we settled for less than we were owed when we were supposedly underinsured. One of the first pledges the re-elected Mayor Leanne Dalzell has made is to increase efforts to get 20,000 people to live in the CBD. The move is designed to breathe life into an area still defined by vacant lots. The first time councillor representing the newly created Central City Ward, Dion Swiggs, says six years on from the earthquakes, the time for waiting is over. As an example, there's the IRD building and nothing is known of what's going on there. Potentially there should be something happen there. It could be turned into residential apartments with shared working space. There are a lot of empty um, commercial spaces in the city. Maybe there's an opportunity there for the council. Dion Swiggs, who comes from a background of advocating for a rebuild directed from the ground up, says he wants the rebuild of the central city to inspire the rest of the city to greater things. And I was really sad to hear in the campaign some people saying, I'll never go back to the central city, I don't feel safe or I don't feel connected to that area now. I want to see people feel like they can go back into the central city. That's a cultural hub, it can be a, an entertainment hub. Sarah Templeton caused one of the biggest upsets of the election by unseating sitting councillor and one-time mayoral candidate Paul Lonsdale. There's been a lot of energy and effort gone into supporting the larger developments in the CBD, but that's at the expense of our small village centres where the communities come and connect and, and share and they provide local jobs and they support the local sports teams and that's really essential. The new council will be sworn in at the end of next week. It will be a busy end of the year as it grapples with what to do with the old stadium and a fresh look at its cost-sharing agreement with the government. In Ōtotahi for Checkpoint, Ko Conan Young TNA.